Good morning everyone. We are, we have arrived in Bora Bora. That sun is freaking bright. We're staying at the Intercontinental um, in one of the overwater bungalows that they have. We are the second to last one, which is awesome for privacy. It's a very long walk, <laughs> yeah. but they do come around with go, um, they do come around with golf carts and pick you up if you see one. So that's pretty awesome. It's 6.30 right now in the morning. We're on our way to breakfast. It's, we're still waking up really early, which is awesome just because no one else is out at this hour. So you have the whole place to yourself till like, I'd say about eight o'clock is when people start really waking up. So yeah, let's do a little tour of the property. Our bungalow is like at the very end, all the way over there. And then when you walk up here, you have this nice snorkeling spot that they're growing some coral at. And there's a few fish in here. Oh, and then over there is the chapel if you want to get married. Behind us is the is that snorkeling area Ashley was talking about. This is the beach. This part right here has some coral. Beyond this um, this groin is a really nice sandy part. And then, but this has a really awesome view of Mount Odomantu, Ooh. the volcano island that formed Bora Bora. But I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee and sit in one of these and just stare at this all morning. Yeah. Now we're near the main pool. It's the infinity pool if you're looking from the other way. But you can also see the different restaurants. We have the really fancy restaurant over there the more formal restaurant over there, and then the casual restaurant on the beach over here. We're leaving the pool area now, and you have a boutique right here. And then we're going to go check out the other side of the island, and then that's the spa. So let's go see, tomorrow we're gonna to wake up early to go see the sunrise on this side. Now we're on the other side of the island where the sun rises. And if you look really hard, you can see Taha, and we stayed there two years ago. Taha. And then out here, this is where they grow the coral. They're not allowed to swim in this area for obvious reasons. And then these are the spas. And when you get a massage done, you can look down into the water. Look at all those fish. Now we're heading into the secret garden of love. <laughs> so what they do here is they kind of mimic what they do in Paris with the locks on the bridge, but instead you put them on trees here. So 
So what you do is they will give you a lock. You write your name on it and you lock it to the trees. You can see the trees have them. You can see they have them. And then you come over and you take the key to the lock and you put it in his mouth to be forever in there so they can't unlock them from the tree. Protects your love. So it protects your love forever. We are now headed to the spa to get our massage. Yeah, it's been a minute since we gave you all an update. We've been, we spent a majority of the afternoon snorkeling and paddle boarding, stand up paddle boarding, which you'll see here in a second. But as Ashley said, the, the restaurant has a Halloween themed uh, menu for tonight. So we don't know what that means. I can't think of any Halloween food except for pumpkin pie. Is and Halloween? I don't know. I don't know of Halloween food besides pumpkins. Yeah. So, and again, we're in Tahiti, so don't quite know what Halloween festivities they have planned either. But we'll see together. Here's the Halloween menu. We have the deadly Parmesan, Haunted, the body bloody beef, and the coffin. And also our little pumpkin. Happy Halloween. There are also Halloween cocktails. We have Vampire Martini, which is raspberry liqueur, cranberry juice, cane sugar, and Smirnoff. And then a ghost on the beach, which is pineapple juice, pomegranate, and ginger, uh, with or without alcohol. <laughs> We're up super early this morning. What time is it? It's 4.30. 4.30. <laughs> and we're going to go to the other side of the island to watch sunrise, which is peaking over there a little bit. You can see it. So we're going to start heading over there now. We are departing from the intercontinental Bora Bora. It's been a pleasure, this place. Again, these people are so nice. Um, I don't want to leave. <laughs> we don't want to leave. It was short but sweet, a lot of fun. We are stopping by the gift shop and then we have a boat transfer to the airport where then we're gonna grab our flight to Maroa uh, and we have an Airbnb for a few nights before heading to another resort.